Hi. Tom Wood reporting from the couch here in Hogami, Campbell Village, Norway. It is May, it is 19, and, you know, I just want to share a few considerations about my life experience, you know. I was born schizophrenic. And I worked, and I'm constantly, I'm still working through my mind with mind constructs, with self-forgiveness. Mind constructs and self-forgiveness. You know, the brilliant thing about repeating self-forgiveness onto myself, on patterns of personalities, on thoughts, on emotions. The cool thing about doing that is, you know, it releases the bundles, the conspiracies within me, you know. It releases the judgment, the polarity, the personality, the backshot, the voice in the head, all that, you know, all those phenomenas that keep us locked and stuck and buried within our own suppression, within our own denial of life. All the phenomenas and, you know, illusions and lies and imagery that keep us in a locked down inferior position and we feel lesser than and we become stressed and there is anxiety and we need alcohol and we need drugs and we need this and that and this and that to seduce ourselves to escape from our self. We need either God or we need coke or we need hush or we need alcohol or we need uh, porn or we need shopping or we need some sort of a cultural trend to escape ourself. Now I am one voice for proof of proof that self-forgiveness can heal the schizophrenic I walked through my schizophrenic mind in great, great detail. I'm still working on it. I'm not done. Obviously, I'm not done. We're still in a very much in a chaotic place here on Earth. Things are still very chaotic. And in this May. But, you know. Even as far as the change that I am busy creating with myself, you know, if I want to see change in my world, it starts with me. If you want to see change in your world, that change starts with you. So there is no escaping, basically, and there is no running away from response ability of life we are all equally responsible for all the doo-doo that takes place on earth all the crap all the abuse all the lies all the blame all the starvation all the whatever all the abuse all the things that takes place on earth we are all equally responsible able response able so you know like i say i'm living proof that schizophrenia is curable i walked through my schizophrenic anxiety self-judging nasty addicted mind into self-honesty self-integrity self responsibility you know so into oneness and equality as me as one solution you might say as substance as physicality as a being and as a mind because I learned to understand my mind and 
how I can regain um, or how I can learn to handle the structure that is my mind and give it direction basically because the mind is a dangerous master but a beautiful uh, the mind is a danger it's a beautiful servant but a dangerous master if, if so that once we can learn our mind to understand in full and complete extent we can give it direction and that is real power i guess If you can forgive all the possessions of one's mind. So this is me reporting from the couch in southwest Norway. Life is here. Self-forgiveness is here. Self-honesty is here. Let's work with what is here and change our reality equal and one. There is, I'm living proof that's, that one can heal from schizophrenia, from, from addictions, into sanity, into self-honesty, into a real responsible response, able life. So, you know, give, give some time to investigate what is destiny, what is self-forgiveness. Test it out for yourself for some weeks, for some month, and see what changes you experience when you start to work on forgiving yourself in detail. Thank you and enjoy.